So this is the last video before going into the demos and there are two points that I want to make sure you are also aware about. The first point is about allowing users to create sites in the organization. You might have that setting changed sometime in the past and you might have forgot about it or actually you might have it disabled by let's say a request of the management and all of that. And if you're interested to let users use Google Sites, then you need to change the setting to make sure that users are allowed to create Google Sites in the domain. Then the second point is about the custom URLs that you can do for the Google Sites. Because as you've seen in the previous video, the published URL for the Google Site is a little bit long and it's not user friendly. So you want to have something that is easy to remember and easy to type and it's actually something that's going to indicate the content of the Google site that you're creating. So these settings will be accessed from the apps in the admin console dashboard. So you go to apps and then Google workspace. In the Google workspace, you will go to Google sites. And in here there is the site creation setting and at the bottom there is the custom URL. Now also there is the sharing settings for the Google Sites and what is the maximum scope that users can share Google Sites for. It does make sense a little bit to keep the ability to share Google Sites to the internet because you might want to create some public Google Site or something like that. But the other point that affects this is Google Sites are stored on Google Drive. So the sharing settings of Google Drive will affect the sharing settings of Google Sites. So if you configure the policy to make the sharing in Google Drive only to the internal organization, then users will not be able to share Google Sites to the outside of the organization. And if you make the policy to share files open, meaning that users will be able to share files to the outside of the organization, then Google Sites can be shared to the outside of the organization. So this is something you might need to also reconsider or double check again whenever you want to start using Google Sites or letting users start using Google Sites. And once that point is done, then you can actually make sure and confirm users can create and edit sites in the organization. So from the site settings, you go to new sites. In the new sites, you will be getting the option to allow users or preventing them from creating and editing sites. Now in my case it's set to enable so users will be able to create sites and they will be able to share them in the organization. As mentioned the sharing and publishing settings are done through the Google Drive so they are not even mentioned here. Then the other option which is the custom URL this is where you map the URLs of a specific Google site or multiple Google sites to a custom URL that you create. This is created as an example and this is a classic site. So this classic site when I go to the portal of this, hopefully it's still working. This is a portal that I have previously created and as you can see it's something nice even for the classic sites. And when I go to this this is something I might be able to live with as an IT. It's something for me, it's not very complicated at all. But for some user that who is not used to seeing this long URL or something like that, then you can simply create a custom URL such as this one, portal.domain.com or whatever. Then when you click this one, it will take you to the same site and you'll get to see the same view actually. It's not going to work in my case because I still need to do some CNAME mapping which is not done. But you can actually create whatever URL that you want here. So if you have a site such as this one, the help center that we have created in the previous video, you want to map to the a custom URL such as help or something like that. You will first need to have the URL for this site, which can be taken from the URL link here. You click this, it will copy the URL or you can actually just take the part that interests you, which is this one. Hopefully we will need the whole URL. Then let me go back to the admin console and then in here you click the add button and you choose the site type, which is a new site in my case, and you click continue. And then it's going to ask you to enter the site name. 
which is something that I have copied. I actually need to remove the HTTPS at the start so that it just get the name instead of the protocol. In, in all cases, it's going to be HTTPS anyways. <laughs> so I'll click continue. And this is where it's going to ask me to type the mapping or do the mapping that I want to do for this site. So since this is a help site, I will do something like KB for knowledge base. Then I will click continue. This is the steps or this is the work that I need to do on my domain DNS hosting provider so that I can map this name kb.thedomain to the specific Google sites. This CNAME record I have to create and I have to make the name as kb and the value. It's going to redirect me to this URL. This is something at the back end of Google. This probably is a reverse proxy that's going to read the host value, which is this one. And then it's going to redirect me to the actual site, which is this one. Once you do that, give it a little time to save and propagate the DNS settings. And then that's it. You add the custom URL and you will be able to access the site using this name kb.thedomain.com, which is going to redirect you to this site. So now I believe we're ready for the demos. And I will actually start by going into the basics or the most common use case, which is Google Forms. And once the case for Google Forms is done, then I will show you how you can create a basic document library, whether to fill it or whether to have users upload content to that or just to present the content that's stored inside those libraries to the users so they can choose the appropriate file from them. Actually, this is most useful if you have a department such as the HR and they want to provide all of their forms and all of their documents in one place. So users can access that place and get the content from it. You can actually combine both of these. So one way you can do is you can create a site where the, all of the HR forms are created in the form of Google Forms. And then all of the other, let's say, legal forms or anything else are found in a Google Drive that is embedded inside the Google site. So people can choose to fill or download any of the forms and fill them and then submit them to the required department or to the entity that needs to work with these forms. Once this is done, then I will show you a very simple intranet page that you can expand it later on on your own. Finally, it's going to be the project progress report, which is something that's also nice and it's going to help you show the power of the integration between all of the Google Workspace services and applications.